Understanding Bear in Mind, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're going to explore a very interesting phrase that you might have come across. Bear in mind. Understanding phrases like this is crucial for mastering the subtleties of English, and we're here to break it down for you. So, let's get started and bear in mind the tips we're about to share. The phrase, bear in mind, is an idiomatic expression in English. To bear something in mind means to remember or consider something. It's used when you want someone to pay special attention to a piece of information or keep something in consideration for future reference. The beauty of this phrase lies in its versatility and subtlety in advising or reminding without being too direct. Understanding how to use bear in mind can greatly enhance your conversational and writing skills. Let's look at a few examples to see it in action. 1. When giving advice, bear in mind that learning a new language takes time and patience. 2. While planning, we should bear in mind that the weather might change, so let's prepare accordingly. 3. During discussions, bear in mind that everyone has their own opinion, and it's important to respect that. These examples show that bear in mind can be seamlessly integrated into various contexts, making your communication more effective and nuanced. When learning idiomatic expressions, it's easy to make mistakes. Here are some common ones to avoid with bear in mind. Confusing it with bear in mind. Remember, bear is correct, relating to carrying or holding, while bear means to uncover and is incorrect in this context. Using it in the wrong context, bear in mind, is about remembering or considering, not about physical bearing or enduring. We hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, bear in mind, and how to use it effectively in your conversations and writing. Remember, mastering idiomatic expressions is a key step towards fluency in English, and we're here to help you every step of the way. Bear in mind these tips, practice regularly, and you'll find yourself becoming more confident in your English skills. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.